Hello guys, I'm Bruno Bastos from Brazil. I came from Rio de Janeiro. I just moved to Dallas like almost one year ago. And then I'm here now to teach in Dallas, Texas. And I came to Harlingen to do some Jiu-Jitsu for the guys here also. Since, since March I've been competing a lot. So I brought my, my medals here for the, for the, so guys can see all what I won um, during this year. Because, like I told them, they are part of this also. Um, I get like Houston, uh, Houston International Open, class in open class, uh, New York International Open, I fought the just weight class and they won. Uh, Martian Seniors, I made my debut there and they won there. Uh, the BJJF Worlds, I took third. And then CBJJO Worlds, I took first, so one more world title. Rio International Open, uh, Arizona State Championship also, was cash prize there. And then the last one, UFC Expo in Boston, so I won there with Guy. So this, this year has been good for me. End of September, we have American Nationals in California, so I will be there to, to compete. And then a week later, we have Nogi Panans in New York, so I will compete this also. So Guy and Nogi tournaments, I, I, I'm going to do both. And then middle of October, we have a Southwest Championship in Arizona. And then the winner to the Open Class, we get a free tickets to European next year. So I'm looking forward for this because it's a good, uh, great opportunity to be in Europe to compete there and do my, do my job there also. And then in November 7, we have Nogi Worlds. So that's uh, the, my main goal for like the second semester. So be there in Nogi Worlds and up there in good shape and then try to get class and open class. I already know like a lot of good guys are going to be there like uh, Cyborg Gabriel, Pablo Popovic, um, Braga Neto, Tusa, Lovato, Lucas Lepri, Leite, all, all these guys, they always compete. And so I know my, my, my weight class is going to be tough and open class is going to be like war. But if you're going to be war, let's go there and make war. And like, I, I feel like since, since I moved to here, I remember like my first month in Dallas, my, my Jiu Jitsu class was like six, seven, eight guys. So and now I, I have like over 40 students. So I think as far as I go like teaching here, because my, my plan is not like to back, go back to Brazil. My plan is be here um, for as long as I can. I want to have my, my kids here with my wife. So I, I know far as I go, like it's gonna be harder to compete because my students already start compete also. I have students who already won Naga, Grappers Quest. Um, I, ha I had a student, like Blue Belt, uh, Nicholas Miller, he just fought the Vegas Open, a BJJF and won. He took third in the Chicago, and then now he won there. He, he's in Tokyo today and he won there. He just texted me. So this kid is doing good, is just blue belt. So, and I have a few more students who, like I said, won the Grappers Quest in Naga. So I, I, I think like next year I still can like compete in high level, maybe in like next two years. But and then it's not about the age because I, I, I feel good to compete. I'm, I'm still young, I'm 30 years. I think I can go do well until like 35, 36 if, if I be in shape, be healthy. But the problem is when, uh, when we start teach, so you have to balance because you cannot like compete and then coach at the same time your students. So far as I, I can, I, I will compete because I love this, that's my life. But I feel that's my victory also when my students compete and win there. I'm with them all the time. So more my students growing, I, 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 I think I will start like balance more to the coach side than competitor side. But that's a part of the life. I've been doing this for 20 years already, so I think just a few years more and then put my, my students to dominate the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking on this, I just don't want to like go to any show like fight for, for nothing. It has to be something like interesting for me, for sure interesting for the show, because I'm, 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 I'm not to I'm not say about money. Um, because I'm not like, I have 30, like I said, I have 30 years, so I'm not 20 years old guy. I'm, I don't have plan like to be an MMA fighter. But like I said before, I want this to, to challenge to myself 
And first, first to challenge to myself, and then second because I know my, my students they they do not say but kind of say also, oh Bruno, you think about compete. So and, and uh, I want to show my students I, I can I can go there and do well. I think I'm an example for them, and I ha I have students who do MMA. So the, my opinion is that way better you as a coach if if you can do an example for your students, like. If I coach MMA, I gotta do MMA. If I coach Jiu Jitsu, I gotta do Jiu Jitsu tournaments. So that's the way I think is the best way. So first, to challenge myself. I like this, I wanted this. And second, for to my students also, because I know they, they wanted this also. I, and I, when I compete, I'm not competing just to myself. I compete for them, for my family. So that's gonna be for them also. I helped King Mo, he, he was in Dallas with me for like one week, a little over than this. So we're training a lot. That's another thing what makes me feel about MMA because I've been training with a lot of MMA guys. So before more like in the past, like in the past like uh, 2006, I, I, I helped like Verdun, uh, Mirko Krokop. Um, I trained with both Nogueira and Nogueira brothers. I trained before with Belfort. Um, so I uh, have a guy, Bulgarian guy, who's gonna make his debut in the UFC in England next month in October. Stan Live Nedkov. Uh, he was fighting Sengoku in Japan, he's gonna make his debut in UFC now. So I, I was with him last year. So that's another thing who made me think about MMA because I'm always with high level MMA guys. So I think if I, if I can like, be a training partner for them, if they invite me to train with them and help them, so I think for sure I can do well inside the cage or ring, whatever. And so we're specific about Mo, uh, let, let's see how he's gonna work his knee, he hurt his knee in his last fight. But I look forward to, to help him again. Uh, we became friends. And Mo, wait for you in Octagon. Soon. <laughs> uh, we, we just had uh, no gi today. So I, I came here last March. We, we're in September now. So between this time, the, 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 the level is growing here. I think every time, like um, after my, after I came to here, like the front came one more time also. So they always brought like guys to come to here to help their levels. They looking like to, to uh, for tournaments also because tournaments the best way for you test yourself and then feels like how's your level in jiu-jitsu. So I think they have good potential here, man, to to, to go more and more and then. For sure, like someday you're gonna have some old champion here, and then gonna be good for the school, and gonna be good for the city, also for the, the Harlingen Valley, all, all area here. Uh, for sure, I wanna say thank you, uh, you for the opportunity to speak to your, your website. Uh, Jake and the Frank who brought me here one more time. My wife, because they don't say about her, maybe she's gonna be mad at me. So, Thais, I love you my queen, uh, my family in Brazil, my students in Dallas, my students in Brazil, and that's it, Octagon MMA, thank for all support, and Texas MMA shop, and BTX, and many weapons, that's it. <laughs>